chapter 14. In high post, Dan and, Dan and McBride and Norman Gall have a pint at the local tavern when they overhear someone speaking about a new type of wizard taking up residence in the north. Norman walks up to the two men and kindly asks, Sorry to be so bold, but may I know also what you are talking about. The two men stare for a moment and say, Yes, sir, there is trouble in dress from what I hear. Grave robbings and something sinister. That is all I know. Norman sits back down in den and Dan and looks very gravely at him and says, We have him now. He is near dress. That is all I know. He could have been there and we missed him. Damned. We were near, nearly careful. We, we were not nearly careful enough. Norman smiles and looks at Norman and says, Norman smiles and looks at Dan and says, Brother, relax in due time. Norman exclaims, We should use the high post court wizard to send a messenger crow to a friend of mine. He is a powerful wizard and can help. Norman sighs and says, Dan, I want you to stay here. Without your power from dark and you are no use to us. I'm, I am sorry. Dan looks and says, Yes, I know. Have you forgotten? I have joined the feral priests of the wilds. I will be traveling with them. May we meet sooner than later, my brother. The two don't waste time with words and slap each other on the shoulder in a loving manner, and then Norman is off to Castle Hypos to consult the wizard there to send a messenger bird to Lancaster. The kingdom of Hypos is one of the largest in the world. <coughs> King Hevar's family has ruled it for many generations now. Norman, in a reserved manner, watches the folk all about town as they come and go and talk to one another on this bright sunny day. He knows his brother's hopes to avenge their mother is with him now. Meanwhile, in the grassy outskirts of Escati City, Samson and another dragon guard are talking with their dragons resting, the four of them resting in an open field with a small rocky hill behind them. I was a barbarian of the battle-branded tribe. That life just is not for me anymore. I haven't the heart to tell them that, however. Samson says to the guard, Hester, Hester replies, We all do what we must, Creon, only what we must. One of the one of the green dragons rears up and says, They are your people. You belong with them, I believe. Samson looks down and smiles. No, I know what I must do now. Puzzle the dragon and Hester look away. Samson thinks to, of his family still within the tribe up north near the elves. He longs to see them again some day, but in his own honor, he has yet to. His parents wanted him to go out into the world and do great things. After joining the high post guard, he defeated countless bandits and saved many lives, as the high post guard act as adventurers as well to the area it serves, not just soldiers of fortune. Samson was always on the move growing up with his family and tribe near Dress to the north. Even though he is an amazing warrior, he has never sustained any scars from battle. It is a trait that is known. In a juror, Kriev Marvond of Sidian is making his round about the tower. He has been secretly building an army from an unknown source. They are called Greklin, which are dwarves long ago. Now they are living dead and more impish than dwarven. None tally outside the tower. They are all within and under, for it has many deep places within going down. In the lowest part, there is a sealed circular door on the stone floor. But this must be miles and miles down below the tower. Within tonight, Obsidian and Darkin, the dark wizard of High Post, are meeting. Obsidian has ordered the Greklin to let him in the deep room he is in. Obsidian and Darkin sit at the ancient stone, ta ancient stone table to discuss a possible recruitment of new Ethanites. Since the dissolution of Denon, many enslavers are leaving the ranks and are willing to join your army here, Obsidian. I only ask that when the world is yours, the high post, that high post is mine, intact and unspoiled. Darkin says with his head tilted down, Of course, Darkin, it will be done. And as a bonus, I will give you an army of devils. Darkin's eyes widen when Obsidian says this. Aren't they the rulers of the Forbidden Realm, ambitious humanoids much like that of man? Darkin says, rubbing his hands together. Obsidian then smirks and says, yes, friend. 
Darkin did not know it at the time and got ahead of himself in his mind, but this was an outrageous, outrageously ridiculous claim. The two talked much in the night about the first target being high post and how obsidian will use Ethan's book to bring back the former Ethanites that were slain. Most do not know it, but they are f facing a foe which can come back once it is dead. Though perhaps not the same, for necromancy is just another one of Movak's tricks. The Lich Tome, the only account of necromancy in written form, is what Ethan found locked away in Ebony Tower. They had been secretly using it for years to turn their captured into all sorts of abominations. It was Darkin himself who wrote it, along with Movak's help at the time before he was banished. Darkin later considered the book too powerful for mortal hands and locked it away in Ebony Tower. The Ethanites, started by Obsidian, were honoring Ethan's lichdom, a form not seen since the War of the Dragons, and more specifically since Fomog became Movak. One day the Ethanites will return to plague the world, made even more dire since the enslavers are no more. Demonic influence is all but gone in the world now. The demons of the Forbidden Realm, as the ones in the realm of dreams are no real threat to humanity, have no more lackeys to do their bidding in the mortal world, unless Darkin reverts to his old ways. The walls of Ajara Kriya Mervond are lit and blazing with interior cracks of blazing fires that keep them all warm through the night. Obsidian has a room for Darkin to perform mad experiments in that has sigils and portals in it from the demon world, lost to imagery and power. It is a gift from Obsidian. He needs Darkin for the fight ahead. For Darkin, however, abrasive and rebellious, is an extremely old and powerful mage. He also has information about high post that may serve Obsidian in the future. A dark and powerful alliance had then been forged in the long thought forgotten recesses of Ajara Kriev Marvonda.